Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Renewable Energy Study Group. In today's session, we're going to be talk about a very important concept of solar wind hybrid power plant. As we know that the importance of the solar power plant installation and the growth of installation. Nowadays, there is a hybrid power system are given more importance, which has been included as a wind turbine and the solar panel. So the solar panel and the wind turbine are combined to get the power, which is called as an hybrid power. And this kind of the systems that we can integrate in the residential sector also, commercial one also, and the utility scale type of the sector also. So let's talk about the solar wind hybrid power plant. So basically the first type of a solar wind hybrid power plant is the grid tie system. Such kind of the system we can utilize for the residential load also and for the commercial and the business sector also. So basically whenever the grid is connected into the system, it is called as an on-grid or the grid tie solar wind hybrid kind of an system. So basically in the solar wind hybrid system, on one side we have a solar power plant which is been designed based upon the consumer requirement and the subsequent parameter which has been measured in terms of an kilowatt. Thereafter also we have the wind turbine or wind generation machine that you can say which is rotating and generating the electricity based upon the amount of the wind velocity and kinetic energy absorption. This is called as a wind generation. It is also measured in terms of a kilowatt of the wind turbine. Now, whenever we are actually connecting the solar power system and wind generation or wind turbine, we require the solar wind hybrid controller over here. This is very much important before we are connecting this electricity supply to the inverter in the grid tie solar wind hybrid system. So solar power plant, we are getting the electricity in terms of an DC electricity, which is called as the direct current actually. And this direct current we are feeding into the solar wind hybrid controller. Similarly, for most of the wind turbine, whether it is a residential one or the utility scale type of an one. So they are generating the electricity in terms of an alternating current or the AC current that we can say. So basically this AC current, it has been given to the rectifier. This rectifier might be a inbuilt part of an hybrid controller or separately we have to be utilized in such kind of a system whose role is to convert the AC supply into the DC supply of the wind machine. And then it has been given to the hybrid controller. So in a hybrid controller, we can connect the two wires of an solar power plant. And also we can able to connect the wires of an wind machine or the wind turbine also. So this electricity, we are feeding this controller in terms of an direct current. So basically the controller role is to balance the overall system of the wind generation and the solar generation that we can say. And then this power or the proper amount of a stable power that we can say, it has been given to the inverter. The role of the inverter is to convert the direct current into the alternating form of a current so that the consumer can utilize their home appliances or the load based upon this alternating current. And this power supply we can give on one side through a net metering system that you can see to the grid or you can export to the grid also and then you can utilize to this particular residential running loads also. So based upon the frequency that we are receiving from the grid in terms of 50 hertz, the phase that we are receiving from the grid and the voltage that we are receiving from the grid, this has been sensed and synchronized by the inverter smartly and thereafter the power balancing is happening in the grid tie solar wind hybrid system. So that is the role of the solar wind hybrid controller is very much important to stabilize the power which we are getting from the winter machine and also from the solar power plant. Whenever at a night time or day time you can say whenever there is a wind supply or sufficient wind supply will be there at a specific height the wind machine will going to be rotate and based upon that the alternator which has been there inside the wind machine that is generating the power over here. And this power generally that we are getting in terms of the three phase over here actually this power what we are getting from the wind machine and then it has been converted into the proper format of the DC supply that you can say. And that is why in a such a way this kind of the system will going to be effectively work out in the residential one commercial one and the utility scale type of an project also. The next kind of the project that we can say it is a off grid type of of the solar wind hybrid system. So in the upgrade type of the solar wind hybrid system, actually, we are not connected this particular system to the grid supply that you can say. 
because whatever the power that we are getting the from the grid actually that we can utilize at the night time also whenever system is not generating the power rather we can export our excess electricity which is been generated by the wind machine or the solar plant to the consumer also instead of that we are utilizing the battery supply over here and we are totally excluding the grid supply from the off grid type of the solar wind hybrid system similarly here also we require the solar power plant panels and the wind machine that will be required to be installed on the pole this pole height is depending upon the amount of the wind speed which has been available on the site and the site location over here then we required as we have learned regarding the solar wind hybrid controller which is been generating the stable amount of the power uh, from this particular wind and solar machine that you can say or it is role is to control the amount of the voltage and current which we are getting from the wind machine and the solar plant thereafter it is storing the power in the battery also whatever the power that we are getting or rather the proper amount of the voltage and current has been supplied to the battery also we can store the power and wherever we utilize this power or whenever we needs this power then we can return or we can regain this power from the battery and further we can utilize for our regular purposes we also required the inverter in the system because we require to run some ac appliances also and that is why we require the inverter to convert the dc supply into the ac supply over here so in this way the off grid type of the solar wind hybrid system is essentially working in this particular case whenever we talk about the generalized benefit of solar wind hybrid power plant installation we'll find there are multiple benefits has been available actually like the solar wind hybrid system generate approximately twice as much as wind or the solar energy than the singly installed system over here because as we say the amount of the area which is required for solar panel installation so there itself we can install a wind pole over here and there we can install the wind machine so we require the less amount of the area for installation of the pole also guide wires also and that is why on the typical amount of an area or small scale type of an area also we can generate the twice amount of the power in the specific location and the situation the next is installing this hybrid system will enhance the reliability of the power generation in a system because as we know that in the day time the solar panels are generating the power absorbing the solar radiation and creating the power but at night time we won't have available this solar power or renewable power that you can say so at a night time if the wind is blowing properly the wind machine will going to be generate the power store in the battery and give it to us also next is the battery size can be minimized as the dependency on the single source of generating electricity is less as we know that whenever we are totally reliable on the solar power plant so let's say the solar power plant that we are designing let the 10 kilowatt power plant that we have installed the amount of the battery or ampere hour of the battery which has been required to store that much amount of the power it is very high because this power we required to be stored in the battery because we won't available the sun is not been available at the evening time night time and non sunshine hour time also over here or low radiation situation also we won't have available availability of the sun's radiation and that is why we require the continuous supply if the consumer requires continuous supply the battery bank size will be drastically increasing over here but similar case when we compare with the wind machine also like solar power plant plus wind turbine that we have installed in a system so in that case we can reduce the battery bank because we have a two power sources at this particular same moment when one is not working at night time the other can able to produce the power at the night time over here next like unlike the individual energy system hybrid system do not require any grid expansion because they produce power at different courses of time and during the different period also because whenever we talk about the availability of the grid energy so in that particular case the wind machine is generating the power at night time they might be producing the power at the daytime also but night time the wind velocity will be more in most of the situation or the location that we can identify in the daytime solar power plant is also running so proper amount of the synchronization is happening over here or continuous two types supply of an power we are getting by installation of the solar wind hybrid system overall cost of installing the hybrid system is lesser than installing an individual energy system project cost of the hybrid system can reduce by as much as 2 to 2.5% of the total project cost of installing either the solar or rather the wind system 
because whenever we say if we are installing the 20 kilowatt of a solar project the cost which is required for installation of 20 kilowatt and when we will segregate that that 10 kilowatt we are producing from solar and 10 kilowatt we are producing from the wind machine like that the amount of area which is required that is also lesser and the cost which has been required actually that is also lesser similarly it has been affecting on the maintenance side also next is acquiring the land for the hybrid system is easier it is because you don't need separate pieces of the land to install the solar panel and the wind machine on the same land we can install the solar panel also and the wind machine also in our particular system both can install on the single piece of a land that is the best benefit that we can identify for installation of the solar wind hybrid system hello everyone we are belonging to the renewable energy study group we are offering the variety of the courses on the solar power plant designing solar wind hybrid kind of and designing solar wind power system biogas rainwater harvesting carbon footprint waste management and variety of the courses which are related to the renewable sector we are offering the variety of the offers on bundle of the courses of the purchase and uh, discounted offers regularly it has been given on our website you can find the description box for the regular offer which has been available. You can visit to our website www.renewableenergystudygroup.in. Here you can find the variety of courses. Also you can read the blogs which has been available uh, or based upon the renewable sector and the various recent topics in the renewable sector to endeavor your knowledge. Do like, share and subscribe our channel for getting more amount of information of renewable sector.